Hey, what's up, YouTubers, Facebookers, Instagrammers? I'm trying a different method here. If you guys don't know who I am, my name's Alvin. Um, you know, a bunch of things I want, or a couple of things I want to talk about here. I'm going to try this platform here, do a link to YouTube. So I'm using a laptop. And that's because when I try to do Instagram and Facebook, it becomes a lot of work. I don't have the uh, tech savvy to do it all. This one, my son's got a dope computer here. He's visiting from Virginia Tech. I got this awesome microphone. It's a Yeti or Blue at the recommendation of uh, Angelo the Greek as well as Amazon. Got some good reviews. So I'm hoping that you guys can hear me a lot better and see me a lot better than the live feeds. I'm going to post a link to the YouTube, I think. And if it works out good, this is probably going to be the preferred method of uh, communication to a lot of you because I could do emails, but excuse me, uh, as you guys are probably aware, not everybody reads emails. I know we get a ton of junk. So you could actually kind of listen to this when you're on a treadmill, in between sets, on the pooper, going to bed tonight, whatever it might be. So to recap, first and foremost, I sound like this because I was yelling and screaming, hollering and hooting yesterday. We had a USS Strongman Leprechaun's Revenge strongman competition at the gym and it was freaking phenomenal i jumped in this was my first go around at it uh into the novice category and had a great time i am you know bruised up beat up a little bit back is a little sore but i think that's the same sentiments as everybody else that i've seen on instagram that we've been tagged with and you know it kind of felt like i was in a powerlifting meet except you know i never get these bruises uh in powerlifting meets this one i don't even know where it came from it's in the back of my forearm so i'm not sure if that was that or unrelated if you guys can see here, that is usually from the stone implements. And I think this one, you can't really see over here because that's a weird angle and I can't turn my arm. And the tattoos, of course. But, man, it was fun. Uh, you know, if you, if you haven't seen the Strongman groups, well, if you're a member of the gym, I know you have had, well, unless you go at funky times. Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. and Saturday mornings, 9 a.m. Those are the only classes that we have at the gym. And that's because these exercises, a lot of them, require uh, groups or partners plus the motivation and the fun that they have is unmatched so if you want to get down with it that's when we have it i posted on instagram i'm going to be looking down a little bit here because i'm looking at the phone uh fielding some questions two things i really wanted to go over was a recap of yesterday as well as some updates on kempsville because i know a lot of people that listen uh have requests and questions about that so with that being said, the first thing I do want to definitely discuss and say is an absolute huge thank you to everybody that put in any time with yesterday's event. So if you are a competitor or just anybody that you know wants to you know give somebody kudos, if you run into any of the judges, MCs, coordinators, expediters, referees, loaders and spotters, Whoever, anybody that put in, you know, a minute of their time yesterday, make sure you give them a good handshake or a pat on the back. Let them know that you appreciate them. Time is money and that's for everybody. So a lot of people yesterday put in two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, 10 hours out of their day to make this thing run as awesome as it did. So make sure you give them a big, huge thank you. Give them a hug, whatever it takes. Not a lot of people would do that on a Saturday. So, you know, it takes an absolute village. I know what it takes to run powerlifting meets. So, you know, there were a couple of small hiccups with the software. But, you know, these are things that you're going to learn to run with. But overall, it was a great, fun, awesome day. So big shout out. Big shout out to all the spec, uh, spectators too, but all the competitors. You know, when you see in any sport, when you see somebody give 100% or all, it, it's always fun and great. So... Awesome job, everybody. Hope you guys are feeling recovered. <clears throat> Big shout out to all the uh, sponsors. I'm not going to begin to try to name them all. I don't have it in front of me, so I don't want to miss any of them. But if you saw a vendor or one of our sponsors, we'll make sure to replug them or check out the Leprechaun's Revenge Instagram page. We'll make sure to plug them all at the bottom of this link as well. Make sure you support local. That's a big one. So let's get into some of these comp or uh, questions here on Instagram. I only posted this, uh, I think, at like 6 o'clock. So it's about 9, so I'm a little bit late. So over three hours, we only got a handful of questions. Excuse me. Throat is really hurting. Uh, somebody dropped a question. When is the next competition? If you are talking strong, man, we don't have anything particularly planned quite yet. 
I do hope to have, you know, with the new location, two strongman competitions a year. As you guys know, we have two USAPL meets every year. There's the Winter Open and the Battle at the Beach, which is coming up June 8th. That one is already sold out. I've condensed that to only 90 lifters, 120 lifter meets. We can do, but I don't want to be there all day, to be honest with you guys. So we put it down to 90, two platforms. We're going to run this thing through in six hours. Excuse me. If you're looking for other competitions or just other ways to get involved, we've got Murph. That's uh, you know the one of the very few wad-type exercises that I myself do, but we always have a good turnout for that. If you haven't been part of it the last couple of years, uh, I think last year we had probably over 60-something, 60, 60 or 70, or actually I think 80 throughout the weekend because it's traditionally done on Monday, uh, Memorial Day, but we always do some heat Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and that's for the people that are uh, working Monday and can't make the, you know, the bigger group. So I think we had like 60 or something total last year. Make sure you get into that guys. It's a good, great, uh, event, obviously for several reasons. One, it's a good cause. The, uh, Murphy foundation is something that we always take pride in to donate, you know, good amounts of money. I think one year we had $1,100. Another year was like $700. So it's always phenomenal to give back. Plus, it's always a good tune-up for summer. I know a lot of you guys are always looking for that beach body or to get your conditioning right. Put it on the counter for Memorial Day, end of May. And then you say, hey, man, I better start working on my pull-ups, my push-ups, my air squats, my running. And it's just fun. You know, we always have some drinks and eats after. So if you're looking for other competitions, I know there's some local bodybuilding shows too. So get with our, that's a different world for me, but our trainers are experienced in that. So get involved there. Uh, what else do we plan on doing? We've got USBA coming back. That's in November. We're going to announce that date soon. So look out for that. And uh, I know there's a uh, weightlifting competition soon. So, you know, get with Nick about that. She's with East Coast Barbell and she's one of our trainers. She's got the uh, 411 on that. All right. What else here? How do you get started with competing in strongman comps? I know that's kind of like any other sport. You just got to get started, guys. Again, I announced, you know, our group's 6 p.m. Wednesdays, 9 a.m. Saturdays. Get with Sean. Get with Goose in the gym. There are strongman experts. I'm going to move this camera up here. I just realized it's uh, got me tilted down. <clears throat> Throat's really killing me here trying to talk this much. So how do you get it? You know, get with the trainer. You know, you want to start learning basics. While there aren't necessarily strength standards, it's definitely not a sport you just want to jump into. We want to make sure you understand the basics. Because once you get into that group setting, it can be a little overwhelming. So set up some sessions with them, guys. And uh, let's get a baseline of strength and technique and understanding of the sport first. Uh, a lot of these questions. How do you train for these? Well, how do you train for these competitions? I think that was uh, that just was discussed. Uh, so that's strong, man. Exact address. I'm assuming uh, this is regards to Kempsville. So let's go ahead and transition into Kempsville. I know a lot of you guys are excited just as much as we are. We are doing absolutely everything we can to get this one open. I know the initial anticipated opening when we first announced it was March, April, somewhere around that time frame. We still plan on, obviously not March, uh, but we still plan 99% confident it will be open sometime in April. Between us, I am aiming no later than that second week in April. But we are doing everything. Our contractors on it. They began demo two weeks ago. We've run into a couple of snags here with some city stuff, some logistics and planning, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, we're going to get around it. <clears throat> it's going to be a phenomenal space. Uh, and that is that. You know, they began painting. They've ripped out the carpets. The walls are... Pretty much up. The bathroom is going to be what's taking the most time. Uh, next week, we will begin Thursday and Friday, I think, putting down the flooring in the gym. And the week after that, we will be moving and assembling most of the equipment. So look out if you've got some open time, not this coming week, but the week after, then uh, we'd love to help you. You know, it will be for some paid labor spots. If you're handy with your hands, can lift some good weight, move some good weight. We can uh, use you, so look out for that post. Oh, I'm sorry. The original question was the exact address, so let's get into that. Exact address, 1832 Kempsville Road, Virginia Beach, Virginia, 23464. When you Google it or pull it up on your navigation, it will bring you to the Walmart. 
If you guys, it's at the corner of Kempsville and Centerville. If you are familiar with Back Bay Farmhouse Brewery, it is literally across the street from that where you'll see that Walmart. When you drive into Walmart or facing Walmart, <clears throat> excuse me, you will hang a left around it. And we're not at the front, so we don't have a storefront. We are side loaded. You're going to be in a fairly empty parking lot, which we're happy about because, as you guys know, our parking right now at Castleton during the peak times is absolutely packed. And um, our neighbors aren't the biggest fans because of that. And that's why we're probably going to be shifting most meets, most competitions to the new Kensville location because we've got that. And any auxiliary or overflow parking can fortunately occur. You know, within the shopping center, Walmart, there's a couple of other side lots with all the other restaurants, businesses, or what not. So we're excited about that. Again, that's 1832 Kempsville Road. Excuse me. So next, uh, and I think that's pretty much most of the updates here. If uh, Oh, the pre-sales. I do want to talk about that. It is a shameless plug. We are approaching, I think, about 180 of the pre-sales. If you guys remember, we're only doing 100 increments. So the next 20 people will get a full year for $249 if you choose to do the pre-sale. The other question that I've got is, you know, stupid, <clears throat> stupid question, which it's not a stupid question. Will Kempsville members have access to the current location? So let's talk about that because I know it's confusing. It's the only way that I can figure out how to make it work. If you do the pre-sale right now, it's priced $249 for a full year. If you you are in transition between gyms or you need to start training now because your contract expired or you're just ready to go, you can bring that email into our current location at Castleton, show our staff that you paid that presale, and for just an extra $39, that gives you access until the opening of Kempsville. So you can start training at Castleton now. So for basically, if you signed up tomorrow, it's like 13 months of membership, you'll pay $249 and $39. What is that like? I'm on the spot here. $290 or $288 or something like that. For 13 months of membership, guys, 24-hour access. If you know what we're about, that's a hell of a deal. We understand not everybody financially or just wants to pay you know, for a 12 to 13-month commitment. So we've got other options. If you still want to go ahead and start training, you could come into Castleton do our regular signups. If you do a 12-month contract, then there is no sign-up fee of $79. Um, and you can start training at Castleton. And once Kempsville opens, the biggest question that we get often now is, will I have access to both locations? The answer is yes. So it doesn't matter where you sign up, you're going to be able to get both of them. So our current members, yes, you will get it. I know it sounds like we've probably got a hundred members that will probably start utilizing Kempsville because it's closing. I mean, closing it's closer to them. So, you know, we're excited about that too. Excuse me. And if you don't want to do a 12 month contract, we've always got the month to month option. You just pay a small $79 sign up fee and you go month to month with that 30 day cancellation notice. You're not committed long term. So that's a phenomenal deal. Uh, there. Let's see. What else here? No question, but thanks for all you do for us members. You and Amy are the best owners. Again, it's uh, it never gets old. It's always very humbling. We truly appreciate it. Uh, you know, I don't think... Well, you know, it's hard to say. I think we're just... We're, we're, we try to be good people, and we feel that we're surrounded by great people, and we just want to do awesome things. And that's pretty much it, so we appreciate it. Will you guys ever sell merch? I assume merchandise online for those who don't live in the area anymore, but still rep IA. That is huge. People always think if you guys know our merchandise does sell pretty quick. There's, you know, a couple points to that marketing ploy there. I don't want to necessarily say we do limited quantities of certain runs, but guys, there's a strategy obviously to everything. Shipping, oh, it's tough. You know, it takes... You know, everybody's like, just tack on the shipping fee. I hate it. I hate marking up merchandise for people that want to support us. I mean, obviously, there's a profit built into it. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. Our general markup is like $5 an item. I buy these shirts for you about, you know, $8, $9 a piece. 
if you guys understand income and businesses you know i'm getting taxed on the income that comes in so most of our shirts you know we're retailing for 15 dollars. i think i make about two two dollars a shirt once we start getting into shipping obviously it takes time it takes the commitment to do that and additional funds i've got to pay somebody all this and that and then the shipping costs so it, it's tough I, I want to so i will say this i'm going to look into it a little bit more see how we can make that uh not necessarily profitable but worthwhile for all parties because that alone is always very awesome we get a lot of requests every time we post new hats new headbands new hoodies and we, we love it but uh we just haven't gotten around to the logistics of getting it all out and just you know showing inventory online doing the online uh ordering and all of that so what else do we have here can we put the privacy curtain back up so this was again just an open question for him you guys that don't know women you guys are good you guys have got your shower curtain up there but the men for some reason about a month or so ago i don't know who it is guys uh hulk hogan or you know the hulk himself must have been taking a shower in our bathroom but there was a period where you know it's anchored to our ceiling in about a week that thing got ripped down like four times and we're like what the hell's going on here you guys are just too aggressive with the curtain pulling um so you know we do hope to get it up but we just didn't want our ceiling getting ripped down so we had to kind of take it away for a little bit and say hey guys respect <laughs> respect the curtain and the equipment obviously so we'll make sure uh, we get on that here soon because that is kind of weird when you take a shower and you step out and you know somebody's uh, right there for you but uh i think that is all the questions we've got there i'm pretty sure i'm gonna miss something or we'll get some more after but uh again we appreciate everybody that's uh coming up on 17 minutes we'll talk to you guys soon and uh we appreciate you